Written by Sarah Kane, directed by Jamie Langdon. That's not possible. I keep telling people I'm pregnant. They say, how'd you do it? What'd he take him? I said, drank a bottle of pork. I spoke some bags and I fucked the stranger. Oh, lies. He needs to have a secret, but he can't help telling. He thinks we don't know. Believe me, we know. A voice in the desert. He who comes after. There's something in the way. Still here. Three summers ago, I was bereaved. No one died, but I lost my mother. She had him back. I believe in anniversaries. That a certain move can be repeated. Even if the event that caused it is trivial, forgotten. In this case, it's neither. I will grow older. I will. It will. Something. I smoke. Until I'm sick. Black or white or blue. When I wake up, I think that my period must have started. Or rather, never stopped because it only finished three days ago. The heat is going out of me. The heart is going out of me. I feel nothing. Nothing. I feel nothing. Is it possible? Sorry? I'm not a rapist. David? Yeah? I'm a paedophile. Do you remember me? Yeah. Looks like a German. Talks like a Spaniard. Smokes like a sir. You've forgotten. All things to all men. I don't think. Yes. I couldn't forget. I looked for you all over the city. I really don't. Yes. Yes. You do. Yes. Please stop this. And now I have found you. Someone has died who is not dead. And now we are friends. Everything that happens is supposed to happen. Where have you been? Here and there. Leave. Where? Now. There. Because love by its nature desires a future. If she'd left, I want a child. I can't help you. None of this would have happened. Time is passing and I don't have time. None of it. No. None. In a motorway going out of the city, or in, depending on which way you look at it, a small girl sits in the passenger seat of a vehicle. Her elderly grandfather undoes his trousers and pops it out, big and purple. I feel nothing, nothing. I feel nothing. And when she starts to cry, her father in the back seat says, I'm sorry, she's not normally like this. Haven't we been here before? And though she cannot remember, she cannot forget. I have been hurtling away from this moment ever since. Will you come round and seduce me? I like to be seduced by an older woman. I'm not an old woman. Older than me, not older per se. You've fallen in love with someone that doesn't exist. Tragedy. Really? Oh, yes. And the bus driver loses it, runs down the road, strips off his clothes, his cute little arse shining in the sun. 
my drink. Till I'm sick. Everywhere I go, I see him. I know the place. I know the car. Does he think I don't know? You're never as powerful as when you know your powers. I shake when I don't have it. Bleeding. Brain melts when I do. I ran through the poppy fields at the back of my grandfather's farm. When I burst through the kitchen door, I see him sitting there with my grandmother on his lap. He kissed on her lips and caressed her breast. They turned around and saw me, smiling my confusion. Now, when I related to my mother more than 10 years later, she said at the oddly and said, that didn't happen to you. That happened to me. My father died before you was born. When that happened, I was pregnant with you. I didn't find out until David's funeral. We passed these messages. Someone somewhere is crying out for me, crying out for my death. My fingers inside her, my tongue in her mouth. I wish to live with myself. No witnesses. And if this makes no sense, then you understand perfectly. It's not what you think. No, that's not it. Time after time, say fucking excuse! Me! Come back! Stay! Stay. Can't have this again. Stop. Stone. I have a black, black side, I know. <laughs> have a side so green that you will never know. Have another drink. Another cigarette. Sometimes the shape of my head alarms me. When I catch a sight of it reflected in a dark and trained window, the landscape of the image passing through my head. Not that there's anything unusual or alarming about the shape, but it does alarm me. Why do you do this? I find it alarming. It's so little time. I hate the smell of my own family. Face one. Face two. Face three. Bingo! Bingo. You'll smell better when you're dead than you do now. An American woman translated a novel from Spanish to English. She asked her Spanish classmate his opinion of her work. The translation was bad. He offered to help, and in return, she offered to pay him for his time. He refused. She offered to take him out for dinner. He accepted. But she forgot. The Spaniard is still waiting for dinner. El dinero viene solo. Alone. If love would come. It's just not me. Has it ever occurred to you you're looking in the wrong place? No. Never. No. It's very nice. Will you make me one? It's made of eggshells and concrete. Will you make me one? Concrete paint and eggshells. I didn't ask what it's made of. I asked if you'd make me one. Every time I have an egg, I stick it on there and spray it. Will you make me one? She sees through walls. Other lives. A mother savagely beats her child because it runs out in front of a car. You stop thinking of yourself as I, and you start thinking of we. Let's just go to bed. No, 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 no. A wish under pressure. Cry blue murder. Do not remove your gloves until you've left the last town. Are you a lesbian? Please. I thought that might be why you don't have children. Why? I never met a man I trusted. Why what? You trust me? This has nothing to do with you. Why what? I'm not interested in you. Why what? Why what? I am not interested in the first fucking thing about you. I don't drink. I hate smoking. I'm a vegetarian. I don't fuck around. I've never visited a prostitute and I've never had a sexually transmitted disease other than thrush. This does, I'm afraid, make me rarity, if not unique. Look! Listen. Look, my nose! What about it? What do you think? Broken. I've never broken a bone in my body. Like Christ. But my dad has. He smashed his nose in a car crash when he was 18 and passed it down to me. Genetically impossible, but hey, there it is. We pass these messages faster than we think possible. If I was, if I, if I was. Hurry up, please, it's time. Do you think a child conceived by rape would suffer? But as it were. You think I'm going to rape you? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Is that possible? I don't see good in anyone anymore. Okay, I was. Okay, okay, I was. Okay. Two people, right? Okay. One of these days. Soon, very soon. Now. But looks aren't everything. It's just not me! A small boy had an imaginary friend. He took her to the beach and they played in the sand. One day a man came from the water and took her away. The next morning, a body of a girl was found washed up on the beach. What's that got to do with anything? Clutching a fistful of sand. Everything. What's anything got to do with anything? I don't want to stay! I want you to leave! If love will come! Let it happen. No! It's leaving me behind. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Let me go! I don't want to have to buy you Christmas presents anymore. Just a name would be nice! You're very naive if you still think you have those kind of choices. 
My back aches. My head aches. My heart aches. You shouldn't sleep next to the radiator. Where should I sleep? Do you want a massage? Don't touch me! No, I shouldn't be doing this. Will you get into trouble? An isolated act. No, I mustn't get attached. It's only natural. Seeing another human being in distress. I feel, I just feel, you asked me to seduce you. Not tie me up! Be grateful. As a child, I liked to piss on the carpet. And when it rotted, I blamed it on the dog. I'm unable to know you. Don't want to know me. Utterly unknowable. No, it's still here. I need a child! That's all? It's everything. That's all. Neither in my pocket nor out of it. Mother. The king is dead. Long live the king. If it could be an act of love. I couldn't remember. Whose? Anymore. Why do you think that is? Why my mind's a blank. Laughing? Someone has died. You think I'm laughing? Why are you crying? You're dead to me. You think I'm crying? I'll cry if you laugh. You could be my mother. I am not your mother. Oh, baby. Now, 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 now. Am I an unnecessary complication? A sporadic addict. Only you. Addicted to sickness. It's not you, it's me. It's always me. And I want to hold you and touch you and tell you how much I love you, but you keep making me do stupid things. It's not me, it's you. Pointless fucking. Timesheet. Six month plan. And I want to hold you and touch you and not this mind when you take a bath and sit on the steps and massage this your neck and this meet your friends at Rooney's and stop. carry your bags and type up this your letters and give you my this clothes and kiss this your feet stop. and appreciate your hair, this your eyes, stop. your lips, this your breasts, stop. Stop. your ass. Don't say no to me. You can't say no to me because it's such a relief to have love in my life again and your heart will leap when you hear my voice and feel my touch on your neck. And I will lie to you from day one. And I will screw you. And I will break your heart because you broke mine first. And I will take what I want and walk away and owe you nothing. It's always been there. Fuck that life. Fuck that life. Fuck that life. I have lost you now. Don't you understand? I've got important things to do. It's getting worse. I'm lost, so fucking lost in this mess of a woman. She wants a kid yesterday. Listen. Look. Listen, I'm here to remember. I have to remember. I have this grief, but I have no idea why. You're always gorgeous. But you're particularly gorgeous when you come. That terrified, paralyzed child. And as she gets more and more angry, off come more and more clothes, and it gets less and less likely she'll let me anywhere near her. I have a bad, bad feeling about this. Bad, bad feeling. It is this woman with her desolate eyes for whom I would die. Her hair is white, but for some reason, perhaps because her hair is white, I have absolutely no idea how old she is. Sunny landscapes, plaster walls, gentle air conditioning. I keep trying to understand, but I don't. I look at the large beige Hessian cushion and try to decipher it. See myself woven into the cream blank fabric. What will you do after this? And the paisley green cushion. A perfectly stupid cushion to represent any part of me, especially the part I'm showing to her. Do you have difficulty in relationships with men? Busy. Happy. Busy. Happy. Busy. Happy. Do you have relationships with men? The only thing I want to say, I've said already, and it's a bit fucking tedious to have to say it again, even though it's the only unifying thought humanity has. How could you leave me like this? My grief has nothing to do with men. I'm having a breakdown because I'm going to die. Before I had the chance to adore you, I adored the bits of you I could see. The woman who dragon eyes. Blue into green. All blue. I don't have music. Christ, I wish I had music, but all I have is words. You are the love of my life. Don't cut me out. Something inside kicks like a bastard. A dull ache in my solar plexus. Gag for a fag. Have you ever been hospitalised? Pain by association. What for? Insanity. Anorexia, bulimia, never. Whatever. Sorry. The truth is simple. I am evil, I am damaged, and no one can save me. Death is an option. I disgust myself. Depression's inadequate. 
A full-scale emotional breakdown is the minimum required to justify letting everybody down. <laughs> so, the coward's way out. I don't have the courage! I think about you. Dream about you. I talk about you. Want you in my system. It's I okay. I need you in my system. No performance needed! You could be my mother. <laughs> I'm not.